the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome, dear friends, to our Eucharistic celebration on this day, Wednesday of the 21st week in Ordinary Time. Here at our shrine, we are inaugurating today the devotion to St. Joseph. Traditionally, Wednesdays in the devotional life of the Church is dedicated to St. Joseph. If you go to other countries, other places, Wednesdays are de dedicated to St. Joseph. Here in the Philippines, because of the popularity of our, our devotion to Mary, Mother of Perpetual Help, that the devotion to St. Joseph has been overshadowed on this day, Wednesday. Hindi naman siguro ma, magagalit ang mahal na ina, the mother of perpetual help, that part of the, this day is dedicated also to St. Joseph. So once again, we ask the Lord, we ask St. Joseph to intercede for us, for the Church, being the protector of the Universal Church, and also our needs today as we face this pandemic for those who are job seekers, workers, parents, especially fathers. So to celebrate worthily this Eucharist, let us now ask God's mercy and pardon. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your inexpressible providence were pleased to choose Saint Joseph as spouse of the most holy mother of your son, grant, we pray, that we who revere him as our protector on earth may be worthy of his heavenly intercession. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We instruct you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to shun any brother who walks in a disorderly way and not according to the tradition they received from us. For you know how one must imitate us, for we did not act in a disorderly way among you, nor did we eat food received free from anyone. On the contrary, in toil and drudgery, night and day we worked, so as not to burden any of you. Not that we do not have the right, rather, we wanted to present ourselves as a model for you so that you might imitate us. In fact, when we were with you, we instructed you that if anyone was unwilling to work, neither should that one eat. May the Lord of Peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. 
the Lord be with all of you. This greeting is in my own hand, Paul's. This is the sign in every letter. This is how I write. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You are like whitewashed tombs which appear beautiful on the outside, but inside are full of dead man's bones and every kind of filth. Even so, on the outside you appear righteous, but inside you are filled with hypocrisy and evil doing. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You build the tombs of the prophets and adorn the memorials of the righteous, and you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have joined them in shedding the prophet's blood. Thus you bear witness against yourselves that you are the children of those who murdered the prophets. Now fill up what your ancestors measured out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Good morning to everyone. If we have a closer look at our Catholic devotional life, we hardly find a devotion to St. Joseph, except maybe the Novena or the Triduum before his feast on uh, March 19 or May 1. Probably only a few uh, religious groups and congregations have this consistent devotion to St. Joseph, like uh, our neighbors here, the uh, the order, order of St. Joseph, the OSJs, you know, at the Santuario de San Jose in Green Hills. If we compare devotions we have to other saints like St. Saint Jude, we have every Thursday, St. Padre Pio, Santa Filomena, etc. St. Joseph is lost. Hearing the Pope, Pope Francis, and his beautiful uh, messages, homilies about Saint Joseph, 
inspired me and also others later on I consulted to start this uh, a more stable devotion to St. Joseph in our shrine. In his homily, for example, during the Mass of his, the inauguration of his ministry as Pope in March 19, precisely on the Feast of St. Joseph in 2013, Pope Francis said, Joseph is protector because he is able to hear God's voice and be guided by his will. And for this reason, he is all the more sensitive to the persons entrusted to his safekeeping. He can look at things realistically. He is in touch with his surroundings. He can make truly wise decisions. In him, dear friends, we can learn how to respond to God's call readily and willingly. Here I would add, he said, caring, protecting demands goodness. It calls for certain tenderness. In the gospel, Saint Joseph appears as a strong and courageous man, working man. Yet in his heart, we see great tenderness, which is not a virtue of the weak, but rather a sign of strength, of spirit, and a capacity for concern, for compassion, for genuine openness to others, for love. We must not be afraid of goodness and tenderness. In another occasion during his visit, to the Philippines in 2015 in his speech to the uh, to families he said for example I have great love for Saint Joseph because he is a man of silence and strength and he reveals uh, that he has a statue of the sleeping Joseph in his table and he said even when he is Joseph is as Asleep, he is taking care of the church, he said. So when the Pope, according to him, he has problems or difficulties, he would write a little note, puts it under the image of St. Joseph so that he can dream about it. Meaning, in other words, he said, I tell him, please pray for this problem. On another occasion, in uh, his uh, mass, daily mass at Santa Marta, the, the place where he uh, lives, he chose to live in Vatican called Santa Marta. He said, Today I would like to ask that St. Joseph grant all of us the ability to dream because we dream great things, good things. We draw near to God's dream what God dreams about us, that He might give to those who are young people, because He was also young, the ability to dream, to take risks, and to take on difficult tasks, even seen in their dreams. And what He might give to all, the fidelity that generally matures in upright behavior, since he was just, which grows in silence, in few words, and grows in the tenderness which is capable of safeguarding one's own weakness and those of others. The Pope, with his beautiful thoughts on St. Joseph, seems to be recommending to all of us to learn more and more from St. Joseph's life and virtues, and also intensify our devotion to him. We thought that with the, what is happening in our world today, we need all the more a protector like St. Joseph, the protector of the universal church, who protected the Holy Family with love, courage, 
as we inaugurate officially this devotion to St. Joseph in our shrine, shrine of Jesus the Divine Word, we think especially for those who are looking for work and for those who have lost their jobs because of this pandemic. To St. Joseph, the faithful worker of Nazareth, patron of workers, we ask him to pray for those workers and job seekers. We also remember parents, fathers, who have great responsibility of taking care of their family. Like St. Joseph, may they take care of them with love, faithfulness, and tenderness. The first reading today we find St. Paul exhorting his, the Thessalonians of the importance of work and not being idle. Anyone unwilling to work should not eat. But our situation today is many would like to work but can't work or cannot find work. So we ask St. Joseph, the patron of workers, to pray for these job seekers. In the Gospel, Jesus criticizes the religious leaders of, for being more preoccupied that, uh, up on the outside than that is within, which we call heart. We, in the Gospel, would say he criticized the hypocrisy. Talking about hypocrisy, we all have our share of being hypocrites. If we look sincerely into our lives, into our hearts, we have all a share of this hypocrisy. Today, even more than in the time of Jesus, appearances, images, has become all important. People who have certain images receive the, more, the most adulation, the biggest following, and open the biggest salaries. We are easily taken by appearances. Jesus invites us to look deeper, which is how God looks. We look at appearances, but God looks at the heart. The heart, which is, of course, the seed of emotions, of intellect, and of will. What matters to God is the heart, how we feel, how we think, and how and what we desire. I think St. Joseph can help us grow also towards this authenticity. In silence, we are in touch with our true selves. We do not need to pretend. We do not need to show off. There are no cameras, you and your God, you and yourself only. St. Joseph was a righteous man, a righteous person, faithful, courageous, because he was always in touch with himself and with God. And he cultivated this in a silence. I think our world needs silence to mark its life, to come face to face with its reality before God. In this way, we grow towards authenticity. And we ask St. Joseph that we may continue to grow also in this authenticity in our life as Christians, cultivating it in silence together with him and learning from him his silence, his love for silence. May we also grow in authentic Christian values and attitudes. Saint Joseph, pray for us.
we ask our Lord to help us to be sincere like Saint Joseph in our actions, in our thoughts, in our values. Let our response be, Lord, read our hearts and answer us. That in our that in our lives as members of the people of God, we may fulfill the demands of the gospel by our constant witnessing, we pray. Lord, Lord read our, our hearts, hearts and answer, answer us. That we may avoid doing things out of the desire to conform or out of hypocrisy, we pray. Lord, Lord read, read our, our hearts, hearts and answer, and answer us. us. That those discouraged by our displeasing manners and behavior may return to worship by our renewed life, we pray. Lord, read our hearts and answer us. That the sick may see the healing hand of God in their trials and difficulties, we pray. Lord, read our hearts and answer us that those who have departed from this life may be received into eternal glory, we pray. Lord, read our hearts and answer us. And we pray for our other intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our hearts and answer us. Through the uh, intercession of St. Joseph, may the job seekers, the workers, the fathers, and those who have devotion to St. Joseph may be given the graces they need, we pray. Lord, read our hearts and answer us. Father, help us to come to worship with a sincere heart like St. Joseph so that we may be able to approach you in spirit and in truth. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. As we prepare to offer the sacrifice of praise, O Holy Father, we humbly ask to be sustained in your service by the prayers of Saint Joseph, whom you have called to watch like a father on earth over your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and in honoring St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Mm -hmm. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis our Pope, Onesto our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those whom we remember in this Mass, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, protector of the Church, and patron of fathers and of workers and job seekers, with all the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. confidence let us now address our Heavenly Father with the prayer our Lord Himself taught us. Lord, we pray from every evil, especially from this pandemic, graciously great, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the, the glory, glory are, are yours, yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer its other a sign of peace. Peace be with you.
takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Restored by these life-giving sacraments, Lord, may we live for you always in justice and holiness, helped by the example and intercession of St. Joseph, who in carrying out your great mysteries served you as a man just and obedient through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before the uh, devotion to St. Joseph, we will uh, bless the image, his image, the sleeping Joseph. Brothers and sisters, as we begin to celebrate this uh, blessing of the image of St. Joseph for public veneration, we must be properly disposed and have a clear appreciation of the meaning of this blessing. When a church, the church blesses a picture, a statue, and present it for public veneration by the faithful, it does so for the following reasons. That when we look at the representation of those who have followed Christ faithfully, we will be motivated to seek the city that is to come, that we learn the way that will enable us most surely to attain complete union with Christ. That as we struggle along with our earthly cares, we will be mindful of the saints those friends and co-heirs of Christ who are also our brothers and sisters and our special friends and benefactors. That we will remember how they love us, are near us, intercede cease ceaselessly for us, and are joined to us in a marvelous communion. Let us pray. Lord, we bless you for you alone are holy. And because in your compassion for sinners, you send into the world your Son, Jesus Christ, the author and perfecter of holiness. He sent the Spirit to sustain this newborn church, a voice that teaches, that teaches as the secrets of holiness, a breeze that strengthens and refreshes us, a fire that sears our hearts in love, the seed of God that yields a harvest of grace. Today we praise you for the gift of the Spirit bestowed on Saint Joseph, in whose honor we dedicate this image. May we follow in his footsteps in the footsteps of the Lord, keeping before us the example of St. Joseph, and grow to a maturity measured not by nature, but by the fullness of Christ. May we proclaim his gospel by word and deed, and shouldering, <clears throat> shouldering our crosses daily, expend our lives for others in our service as we carry out our earthly duties, may we be filled with the Spirit of Christ and keep our eyes fixed on the glories of heaven, 
where you, Father, receive those who will reign with you, with your Son, forever and ever. Amen. Be blessed, Saint Joseph, a person according to the heart of God. You were found worthy to care for God's own mother and be a father of his beloved. We honor, we honor in you, your person the choice of the Eternal Father, who is to share with you his power over his begotten Son, the choice of the Divine Son, himself who wanted to be subject to you, and to be called Son of Joseph, the choice of the Holy, the Holy Spirit, who singled you out to be protector and chaste companion of his Immaculate Spouse, Mary Most Holy. We share your joy that you were permitted to cherish the child Jesus with tenderly love and care. We reverence, we reverence the self-control and continence which you manifested, manifested all during those years when, when you live under the same roof with the Virgin Mother. Praise be the Lord who has given you such a sterling character that the Virgin Mother could place her full trust in you to protect her. Be blessed, be blessed and praised our Father, Father and Protector for living a life so worthy, worthy of imitation. imitation. Make, Make us zealous, zealous to follow in your footsteps. Petitions. Blessed Joseph, faithful spouse of Mary, ever virgin and guardian father of the child Jesus, we come before you to offer you our filial love and gratitude. We, we thank, thank you for, for your loving care, which, which you bestowed, bestowed so faithfully on Mary and the divine, divine child. Show, Show the same, same fatherly care now to us, who are members of Christ in the mystical bond of his blood and body. Blessed Father and Patron, be our intercessor with God. Implore for us that purity of heart which you always manifested in all your undertakings. Teach, Teach us your lively faith, your, your prompt obedience to God's will your unassuming way, and your great love for Jesus the Lord. Glorious Saint Joseph, we implore your aid for the entire believing community, our Holy Father and all the bishops, priests, and religious of the Church. Guide and assist also all temporal rulers to be model of patience and diligence for all workers and to come to the aid of the poor and the afflicted, so that they may obtain what they need to live worthy Christian lives. Be with us above all at the hour of death. Allow us to die in the arms of Jesus and Mary as you did, by the assistance of your powerful prayers. Intercede, we beg you, for the faithful departed, 
especially the deceased members of our family, that they may be admitted to the glorious vision of Trinian God. In the silence of our hearts, let us present to God our needs, prayers, and intentions through the intercession of Saint Joseph. Remember, most pure spouse of Mary, ever virgin, our protector, Saint Joseph, that no one ever had recourse to your protection or implored your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding, therefore, in your goodness, we come before you and humbly beg you. Do not despise our petitions, guardian father of our Savior, Graciously receive them. Amen. Litany of Saint Joseph. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Jesus, hear us. Jesus, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Renowned offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, Pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin. Pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God. Pray for us. Diligent protector of Christ. Pray for us. Head of the Holy Family. Pray for us. Joseph most just. Pray for us. Joseph most chaste. Pray for us. Joseph most prudent. Pray for us. Joseph most strong. Pray for us. Joseph most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of artisans. Pray for us. Glory of home life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Solace of the wretched. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of Holy Church. Pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Jesus. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Gracious hear us, O Jesus. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, O Jesus. He made him the Lord of his household and prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, in your indomitable providence, you were pleased to choose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy Mary. Grant, we beg you, that we may be worthy to have him for our intercessor in heaven whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Horatio Imperata, God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We, we pray, pray that, that you guide, guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. 
protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all, to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calunzod, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saints Arnold Janssen and Josef Frenadimitz, pray for us. Now we will have the transfer of the image to its place. And may Almighty God bless you, your loved ones, your work, your families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Oh.